Art Prize lured a man from storm-battered Key West to Grand Rapids. He says he's glad to be part of the competition, but his heart is back home, hoping the people and places that inspired his art are okay. New at 7, Barton Dieters talked with the artist who traveled to West Michigan inside the canvas he uses for his drawings. Daniel Linehan is as colorful as a 2007 GMC Savannah van that bears his artwork. He's a New York City native who got a law degree but never practiced law. And he only picked up drawing after he moved to Key West and lost most of the sight in one eye following a street fight. That's on the side glass. I'm a one eye drawer. I was kicked in the head uh, while standing up, uh, knocked me out cold. Uh, five days after that, the, uh, after I was released from the emergency room, my retina on my right eye started to pour out. He was near death and suffered seizures and the loss of much of the sight in one eye. The day my eye patch came off, I did my first ink drawing. And I really haven't stopped drawing since. This is 120 hours of freehand ink. Lion Hand said most of his art takes hundreds of hours. You can see the intricate artwork featured in the sketchbook he's glad to show when asked. He has no internet presence, so you can only see his art in person. His greatest project is the 1,260 hours he said he has spent on the van he bought for $6,000. So when I started this van, I trusted my instincts. I, I never did a sketch. He said most of the painting on the van is done in front of everyone who ventures down to Vall Street, the famed party center of Key West. One side is a tribute to Key West, where he says the van has become a tourist attraction. He said he's been made to feel like art royalty in Key West, and he's worried about his adopted home. It's heartbreaking what happened down there. That storm chased me right out of Key West. I don't know what that means, but uh, I'm very glad to be here in Grand Rapids uh, while keeping an eye on what's going on down in Key West. He said the rest of the van has a deeper message. I kind of say it's a retro prospective of, of our world today, where we were and where we're going. He says he feels that artists are needed to help bring the world out of a new kind of dark ages into a new enlightenment. It's a message about um, the direction we're going, and I believe the answer is in there too, the way to solve it. Now you can see Linehan's Sharpie van in the parking lot of the Burger King on Pearl Street near the US 131 ramp. In the newsroom, Barton Dieters, 24-hour News 8.